Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Joanne. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On this channel, I like to post film and TV content as well as New York City content because that's where I live. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing. I post videos every week and I would love to have you join my growing community. In today's video, I'll be reviewing JLo's latest movie, Atlas which premiered on Netflix this weekend. Uh, it premiered on Friday, Mar May 24th. Um, I had no desire to watch this, to be quite honest, <laughs> but there was nothing else to watch on TV, and I didn't go to the movies. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll watch Atlas. Before watching it, though, I watched a bunch of reviews, and none of them were positive. Everyone seems to hate this movie, so I went in with very low expectations and I think that is the secret to enjoying uh, a terrible movie is to go in with really bad expectation because I didn't hate it. The movie wasn't terrible, but this is a story that has been told a million times and it has been told better. But overall, I didn't hate this movie. It was just okay. I think it's just one of those movies that you can play in the background when you're cleaning. I don't know why Netflix keeps spending so much money on this on original concepts. It's always like the same thing. They spend millions of dollars on some dumb movie and I think they they hope to make I don't know, they hope to they hire some big name to make the movie seem more appealing, but I don't think JLo uh, was great in this either. So I don't know, I feel like J.Lo is a good act. I don't think she's a bad actress. I think she's a good actress. It's depending on the material that is given to her. I mean, she was great in Selena. To this day, I'm still upset that they didn't nominate her for an Oscar for Selena. But after that, it's like, it's a hit or miss with her. Uh, and this is a miss for her because she was not that good in this. And I think it, it, it's all on the material. Like the first 20 minutes of the movie, I was like, what is JLo doing? She was just trying to be like hard and angry and like, I don't know what she was doing, but it wasn't working, at least for me. Neuralinx? You can't be serious. There's a reason those were alcohol. Yep. If you really want to try to capture Harlem, you need me on that mission. Towards the end, she gets a little better. She's like more comfortable in the character, I guess. But at the beginning, I was not sure what, what was going on with her because the acting was not that good. <laughs> so the basic premise of this movie is just an AI takes over the world and wants to wipe out humanity. So JLo has to go to another planet where the main AI, played by Simo Lu, uh, I'm sorry, Simo. I, I feel like I messed up the last name. But we, you know him. He's in the Marvel movie, Shun Shai, and he was in Barbie. He was one of the Kens. He's really good. I like him, actually. But he wasn't really used in this movie. There's like, the whole poster, the people in the poster, J-Lo was in the whole movie, but uh, Sterling K. Brown was in it for like five minutes. And then Simu Lu, he was in it for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. So... Uh, they lied to us in the poster because they're not I like both Sterling K. Brown and C. Mulu and they were barely in this movie J.Lo was okay Okay, the first 20 minutes like I said, I was not sure what was happening She was kind of like overacting. I feel like then the rest of the movie I, I Don't even know what to say, but the movie wasn't terrible like they make it out to be like it's an abomination to the world I've seen worse movies uh, but overall this movie was just okay okay so let me give you the plot of the film because I've said on IMDb the plot of this film says in a bleak sounding future an AI soldier has determined that the only way to end war is to end humanity that's pretty much it that's all IMDb gave us and it's, it's kind of, that's really what the movie is. Simu Lu plays Harlan Shepard, who is like the main AI. He's like the leader of all the AIs. He kind of overrode his master or his programming. And he went solo 
and then he was like you know what i've seen what humans are capable of i'm going to protect you from doing all of these awful things so i'm gonna kill all of you and that's exactly what he did he wiped out most of humanity and then he went to another planet and the whole point of the movie was that j-lo and a bunch of other soldiers not ai soldiers but like human soldiers were going to go to this planet and get him but then they get to the planet they are ambushed by his people by his ai soldiers and they all get killed minus j-lo uh, and sterling k brown who is captured but then later he dies so it's just J-Lo in this planet with her AI robot that she's in. There's this whole, she's in this robot looking suit, but it's not a suit. She has to drive her around. Anyways, the whole point of this movie is that in order for her to help get help and save humanity, she has to trust this AI. Because at the beginning, she's not trustworthy because Simu Lu, he was uh he worked with his mom i mean with her mom and then when he went rogue he killed her mom since then she doesn't trust ai so she has to learn how to let go and trust this one ai named smith who's trying to help her at the end she does and she saves the world what did i like about this movie <sighs> um you know i like the poster of the movie i thought that was really it looks really good it has some cool action sequences with the robot like when he's uh, the final battle between her and simu lu which actually it reminded me of shanghai shanshai What's the, what's the name of that movie he was in? In Marvel. Shang-Chi. Where he finally gets a hold of all the rings and he's fighting. I, I bet that whoever made this movie, the director, who directed this movie? Brad Payton. I bet Brad Payton was like, you know what, let's incorporate a little bit of Shang-Chi in this and you do your little movements with, your, with this whip that he had. So that was cool um besides that i liked sterling k brown i think he has a great screen presence and i wish he was there longer he was barely in this movie he was there for like five minutes so i like him i actually saw him in uh, american fiction i recently saw him in american fiction he was really good in that that's a good movie actually but at last um you know atlas was just okay i think i gave it one and a half stars atlas opened to 17 percent on rotten tomatoes and 54 percent for the audience score and it was rotten all around people hated this movie for this video i wanted to channel jenny from the block when she was young and wild and free running around the block with her hair like this because her hair is just like it was in that video where she's like, I'm young, you know, this reminds me of when I was running up and down the block. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. A crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and So this is what I'm channeling today with my hair. Uh, young J-Lo running up and down the block in the Bronx. And she that's the same hair that she had in this movie. I feel like that was intentional. I feel like her team, they know what they're doing. They were like, let's make this video so it could go viral. And then when people see the poster of this movie, cause she has the same hair, they're gonna be like, oh, it's, that's the same hair she had when she was 16, running up and down the block. So for this review, I wanted to uh, channel JLo with my hair wild and free. Anyways, the movie was just okay. I really didn't care for this movie. I've seen better. Like I said, they've been better AI movies taking over the world. This one was just basic. It's one. It's another Netflix expensive movie that you can play in the background for and not pay attention for it. I don't know why Netflix keeps spending so much money on these films. Like, make a good movie. 
you're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on dumb shitty movies make a good one please how much did this one cost let's see this movie cost a hundred million dollars that could have been 10 really good movies that netflix could have made for 10 million but no they want to spend a hundred million on garbage okay the movie wasn't all garbage i guess it was just okay but they could have made 10 better movies for 100 million anyways that is my review for atlas do i recommend it no there's better stuff on netflix if you have to clean your house you can play it in the background but really it's not really that great i didn't think it was that great it took me today's monday this movie came out on friday i was like i have to find something else to watch because I didn't even care to watch that movie, but there was nothing else to watch. So I was like, fine, I'll just watch Atlas. I had nothing else to do. That's, that's the only reason why I watched this movie. I had absolutely nothing to do. So I was like, I'll just go ahead and watch it. And it was just a basic waste of $100 million movie with a bunch of explosions and green screen and a robot. And you know, Simu was not that great of a robot. I watched this movie on on Amazon, Tim, about AI. This one specific AI. Well, they're all named Tim, but Tim and this lady and the guy that played. I was I was convinced that that was an actual robot, so he was really good. The movie Tim was just okay, but the the way that he portrayed Tim, like he's a robot, he was really convincing. Simu was not that convincing as a robot. Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, do I recommend it? Nah, there's better stuff on Netflix. But if you have absolutely nothing to do, like <laughs> I had nothing to do, and you want to just watch something, some mindless movie that you don't have to think about, watch Atlas. Before I end this video, I just want to make it clear that I do like JLo, okay? But JLo sometimes doesn't make good movies, and this is one of those movies. I don't want people thinking that I don't like her because I do. I think the last movie, oh, I, Mama, I think I gave it a good review last time. I, I enjoyed Mama, Mama. The movie wasn't bad. I enjoy, I enjoyed it because I watched it with a full theater. It was all JLo fans. So people were cheering, laughing, gasping. Uh, it was entertaining. And I think it'll be a good watch for anyone who's a fan of JLo. Or you know, it's actually, it's not really a bad action film. I actually, I enjoy that movie. And that was another movie that I went in with low expectations. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I was pleasantly surprised. This one, I went in with even lower expectations. And I was, it was, it was okay. It wasn't terrible. Overall, I gave this movie one and a half stars. Uh, and do I recommend it? Meh, you can skip this one. Anyways. That is my review. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below and share if you've seen Atlas and what you thought about it. Or tell me what's your favorite JLo movie. Anyways, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time.